Family members who gather at a Texas funeral home to mourn the death of 38-year-old Robert Cavazos Jr. reeled in horror when the dead man's corpse suddenly exploded according to their shocking lawsuit. The force of the blast ripped open Robert's cement-lined coffin and filled the funeral home in Raymondville, Texas with a horrendous foul odor according to Maria Perez, the family's attorney. Robert S., 82-year-old mother, Teresa and about 20 mourners were at the funeral home on a Sunday morning in a room with the casket when they hear a loud explosion and smelled a real foul stench, Miss Perez said. They could see the body through the cracked casket and saw that Robert had been buried in his underwear, Miss Perez said. They still have nightmares. The family's anguishing experience began when Cavazos, who was divorced and lived with his mother, died of natural causes in his sleep. Cavazos' elderly mom and 18-year-old son were in the room when employees of Doodleston Funeral Home came for the body of the 6-foot-4, 380-pound man. James Doodleston said they called to get their gurney through the doorway so he called in some volunteer firemen and two police officers, Miss Perez said. They put two blankets on the floor then rolled the body out of bed and dumped it onto the floor. They grabbed the blankets and held his arms and dragged him to off the house as his mother and son watched. It was highly offensive. According to Ms. Perez the family was later told by funeral home officials that embalming Robert Walden T. do any good because he was so large they could also save $450 that way. Several hours after Cavezo's corpse exploded mourners stood in front of Doodleston Funeral Home watching in disbelief as workers used a crane to hoist the dead man's body and casket onto the back of a flatbed truck for the ride to the cemetery, Miss Perez said.